Good morning, warriors. We are going to do a second one here since I'm uh, in the middle of uh, taking a break. A lot of the students are starting their final exam reviews, and so I have a little break here. So I'm going to do a second one, uh, Figure Warriors, because there was a bunch of comments, and uh, thanks to Scott Allen and uh, Coralicious uh, and Optical Man, several people talking about how to control urges. So we're going to talk about that a little bit here, and also different things to do. So there's like five or six of these that I'm going to, going to give out shout outs to and uh, kind of talk about these together. So let's kind of go through these a little bit. Please go ahead before you do that, go ahead and subscribe, comment, like. Uh, we're doing great. Uh, we just keep the word going, pass it along, and uh, we'll keep kind of looking at this and uh, kind of helping each person out. But this one's going to be a little more practical. Let's see if we can try to kind of push this out a little bit and see, you know, what kind of things can you do? Because we've all, you know, felt these type of urges, we felt this type of stuff, and if we want to keep our streak going, what are the types of things we can do? So, Coderlicious, uh, Coderlicious, uh, thank you. Shout out it says go right to going right to sleep is a good idea. I like that idea, so we're going to talk about that a little bit. And then I also had one. Adam talked about how long does it take, and we're going to kind of blend that in a little bit. So thank you, Adam. A shout out to you, uh, Truth Seeker. Uh, it says, trick by your brain. We'll talk about that one a little bit in this context. Um, no edging, power walks, Giovanni, thank you. We'll kind of talk about that one a little bit as well. Flex had one talking about walking with help. Some good comments from Scott Allen as well. Uh, trying to bind the straw man. Uh, we're going to talk about that. And then Giovanni also, also mentioned small leaks. And, uh, and then Sim also talked about still thinking about this. Avoid the brain and temptation. So all these kind of fit together a little bit. Let's talk about this whole idea of urges and um, kind of doing this. So what you really want to do, everything, in my opinion at least, everything that you do is built on a habit, okay? We, we learn habits. Ever since we were really young, we learn habits about how to do things. So we're learning habits on how to walk. We learn habits on how to ride a bike. And yes, you may fall down the first time riding a bike, but you got back up, and unless you quit, you just continue doing it again and again until you figure it out. You know the same thing happens in video games and things, games you've played over the years, that eventually your brain will figure out a way to do it. Once you put a goal there, you'll eventually do it, unless you just kind of give up and say there's no chance. And so we always see the impossible happening because people kind of strive to get their minds thinking more than just what is the normal and I'm going to achieve more or I'm going to do more. And so the idea of seam retention is important because as a habit, we're being taught in my mind with the, with the matrix that we have, the, the uh, blue matrix that I call it, you're sitting there being taught the wrong things in my opinion. We've had this notion that it's good to go ahead and lease as many times as you want to, have as much intercourse as you want to, and that was never the rule that I, that I read into the Bible. I don't interpret that's the case. I interpret that uh, if you want to control your urges, you need to kind of get married, or you basically kind of have to try to be as close to God as possible. Now, in practical purposes, because a lot of us have been brainwashed, including myself, for many years, into this model in which it was good to release all the time, now you formed a habit of doing this. And now you have to try to take a step back and say, how do I stop this? Like any other kind of addiction. It is addiction, warriors, it's an addiction. You have to try to take a step back and say, how do I stop this? Well, one of the things you have to do is you have to kind of think to yourself, what are the situations that happen when I'm doing this? When I'm releasing, what else is happening, okay? So obviously, you know, if you're with a person, you're out, you know, with that person, and you may be late at night, you may have gone to a bar, you may have gone to a restaurant, you may, it, lots of different things, a party of some sort, and you've hooked up with a person, and obviously you released, okay? Now, there may be situations where you're with one person, and there's tempting types of situations there, but what you've got to do is think to yourself, okay, when, when did I actually release? Under what circumstances? And what you have to do is try to think to yourself, okay, let's block that off. Let's block that off. 
Because as Truth Seeker says, you're being tricked by your brain. You're being tricked that this is okay, and that I should go ahead and do it, and what the heck, it's not gonna cost me that much by releasing. And I'm not necessarily talking about edging, even though edging, I think, is a bad thing as well. I mean, I, I personally think you have to go monk mode, but I understand taking step by step, because that's what I did for years, and you have to be able to kind of say, how do I prevent myself from the temptation in these situations? And so, you know, Giovanni's talking about small leaks, those type of things. Those things are going to happen. But let's not give up hope, my friends, because if you look at where you started, first of all, God is telling you, in my opinion, that you should be doing this. This is the plan you should be doing. And if you're on this plan, it's going to take a little time to build those habits the other way. You've had habits for a long time, in my case, 45 years. And so I'm still battling thoughts once in a while. I still battle these type of ideas. But the main thing you want to do is not release them. Unless you have a person who you want to have uh, a relationship with. I mean, I, I look at it as marriage. You know, nowadays a lot of people don't, don't get married. But the thing is, is that you're looking at it as one person. <clears throat> and this type of person then will get, you, give, get your energy. Hopefully you're doing it for the right reason and a purpose down the line. Because if you don't, then you're losing your energy for no reason. And that's kind of where you have to look at. But if you want to stop those urges, especially with pictures and things like that, think to yourself, okay, what, what situation have I gotten this into? And then I think Optical Man a few minutes ago said something about he just doesn't care anymore about women. And I think you'll get to that point. Now, they will be more attracted to you because of that. But you have to kind of think to yourself, I'm not interested in that anymore. And you go to a higher purpose. But you have to first sit down and say, how did I get into this situation? So you have to examine first, when did you get into this? And I know this from experience, right? You have to take a step back and say, okay, I'm going to try to avoid these types of uh, temptations as much as possible. Now, if you're dating somebody or if you're married to somebody, that's, you know, those type of things are not easy when it comes to that person. But you first have to start with the other types of situations. And I would say certainly start with the fact if you're not married, you're not with a person, start with the other situations. So start by saying first, okay, let's go ahead and see when did this happen, okay? So as Coralicia said, if you're sitting there and you're, you're up late at night, okay, and now you're getting tired, your resistance are, are weaker. You have to be very careful. You have to kind of say, all right, I'm going to bed. Now you may be working, you may be working on something, and I sometimes work late at night, and that's where I got caught with monk mode one time. You have to be careful, because the evil one may attack any minute. So you have to sit there and say, okay, I'm gonna get this work done, but I'm gonna go right straight to bed. Now, if you're having dreams at night, at bed, I don't necessarily count that the same way. I think that's something you have to kind of think through a little bit, and you have to do the best you can when you're sleeping. But getting to sleep, I think, avoids those temptations that you face when you're tired at night, and you're working, and it's late at night, and all of a sudden, you can't get to sleep, and so what happens is that you start getting into these type of thoughts and ideas. When the mind is idle, this is when you start thinking about those things. So Coralicious is right. Going right to sleep is very important, and I couldn't agree with more with that. Now, because as Truth Seeker says, when you're tricked by your brain, you have to be realizing that the evil one is sometimes trying to get in a foot in the door to get you to go ahead and release. And once again, you do that, then you're falling back into the, the other patterns again. And it's a habit, so you got to break that habit. And it takes 21 days to break the habit, so it's going to take you a little time. It's not going to be something you can do overnight. But you've got to take it one day at a time to become stronger and stronger so you're not going back to those type of situations. So as Adam's saying, you know, I really recommend if you're doing this, try, you know, try 30 days first, work towards 60, work towards 90, and just keep going. But it's not as easy said as done because we've built a habit for years, in some cases, of doing this. And you're going to have to play 
that you're going to have to try to work with your brain a little bit and say, how do I get out of these situations? So go to bed early if you can and wake up early as well and try to get started with the day. Keep moving, especially if you've just kind of released. Keep moving so you start going back into form that habit again of, of, of retaining. Okay. Um, and obviously, if you're during the day, if this is happening during the day, as Giovanni points out, if it happens during the day, you want to go ahead and do something. I would recommend transmuting. What I do is transmuting is basically sticking one, one finger in my nose, breathing in, and switching it, breathing out. You can use two hands if you want. And this will generate, especially if it's down in your reproductive system, a chakra, you will bring it up. And this is what I have felt at least. And so you bring it up and all of a sudden now you're, you're feeling that energy that muscles are building strength in your system. And you'll feel it. And you'll feel it. Even at 61, I'm feeling it. Okay. So once again, nose and out that way. And you'll be able to kind of deal with that a little bit better. Also, as he's talking about doing stuff, going for a power walk. I walk dogs all the time, my two big dogs. I have a great Pyrenees and a, a Newfoundland, but we walk. And those guys are about 110, 101 is 130. So those guys are some big dogs walking around. So I get a good exercise with that. And we'll talk about exercise in another, another video, but that's a great way to do it. Exercising, doing something, walking around, all those type of things, as Flex mentions and Giovanni mentions, are really important things to do. Do something to avoid that situation. Let me see if I have another comment here. Oh, trying to bind the strong man. Well, they're trying to put you in a situation. The evil one's trying to put you in a situation where you're weak. So late at night, if you're tired, those are the types of situations where you're weaker. You have to be careful of that. Be careful of the stress. Now, stress, I think, affects you less, and it's, it's at least happened to me affects you less if you are uh, on retention. So that's a good thing, but you're still gonna have stress in your life. You're still gonna have situations you've gotta work with. And I recommend trying to lower the stress by the exercise, by the diets, cold showers, those type of things are always important. So I think those are key points. Let me see if I have anything else talked about here. Oh yeah, well as Sim's talking about, you're always gonna have those situations where you're thinking about it, the evil one will present things in your mind. You see a, a young woman walking across the street, and especially in America, it, you know, they look very attractive at times. You have to, once again, in your mind, realize this is, could happen. And you gotta try to block it off as best as possible. So I would, I would really kind of look at trying to avoid those situations that really kind of, I'm thinking of looking for anything else there, yeah. Uh, trying to avoid those situations in which you can get tempted. And this is where I started having some success. I was analyzing, okay, when does this happen? At what period of time and what circumstances? So in my situation, we had Keynes where like, like uh, Codalicia saying, I stayed up late working all night and got caught you know, over the years doing those type of things because of that. And then there's always the case where you're tired and you're stressed out, and that would be another type of avenue to see if you could try to release some of the stress and the buildup in you. And I mistakenly felt like, because I was hearing this all the time and you know from lots of people, that this is the way to do it. This is how you release the stress. And that was so wrong. I can't tell you how wrong it was for me, at least. Now, you know, I'm, you know, you guys have your own opinions, but certainly I think there's a lot of support for that idea that that was not the right thing to do. And now the joy and peace that I have in my heart now, based on what I've been doing, is so better, I don't need to bother with the um, stress level because the stress level is very low. And I know we had talked about someone, and we may talk about this in another one, uh, Eduardo was talking about the feeling of joy and peace, and I would totally agree with that. I think there's a, there is a strong feeling of joy and peace when you are getting closer to God. And little by little, I feel that's happening. Now, have I had setbacks? Yeah, I told you in month mode, you know, 100 days ago, 120 days ago, that was a problem, right? But once again, I got caught when I was tired. And those type of things happen. So, all right, anyway, I, I want to do a short one here because we had a lot of people talking about, you know, how to urge, uh, you know, kind of 
control your urges, get into situations. The best thing you do, my friends, is analyze first the situation. Why? When did this happen? Now, if it's partying and things like that, you're going to have to stop and do that. You're going to have to stop and, and, and not get into those situations. You're going to have to wait and see and, and find situations where you can try to find things to do. Keep busy as much as possible. I remember doing this when we talked about when worrying was another one of the issues I used to have years ago. And the solution, again, was keep yourself busy so you have no time to worry. Keep yourself busy so you're not around pictures. You're not around tempting people unless you have that one person again. And find things to do. As the optical man says, eventually, it's not going to mean that much. He's not going to care that much. So, All right, my friends. Well, thanks again for all your viewership and great. Uh, let me give some shout-outs real fast. Coalitions, thank you for your comment. Adam, thank you for your comment. Truth Seeker, thank you for your comment. Giovanni, uh, Flex with a nice comment as well. And then uh, Giovanni again. And then Sim as well. So thank you guys for contributing. I tried to put a lot of these topics together, and hopefully this helps a little bit too. Until next time, guys, remember, every day is a new day to a wise person in an on retention. So God bless you guys, and keep battling on. We'll talk to you soon.